Hey YouTube, it's your girl India back with another shoe video. Um, this video is going to showcase this shoe here. And as you can see, there's a little bit of damage there because there were stones here that I had to remove, which this will get fixed. Um, I had a, um, a YouTube subscriber who inquired about how to do her own shoes and she began the process. Let me see if this will focus up a little bit. Will it focus? Focus? No? I'm um, not sure you can see, but this is um, her shoe. I'm going to put some pictures um, so you can see up close what it looked like. Um, the main problem that she had is that um, I believe, and I'm just making the assumption, that she purchased these stones from a local craft store like a Hobby Lobby or um, a Joanne Fabrics or Michaels or something to that effect and those stones are honestly you should not use those stones ever and ever ever unless they are um, certified Swarovski and um, you know but th these these are like basically just plastic um, as you will see in the pictures and I'm not sure if you could see in this because I don't think my camera is going to focus because I don't think it's going to do it. It's too close. Um, but in the pictures you'll see it looks like the um, some of the stones were either melted or the foil backing melted. That's why it looks like it's cracked. Um, the E6000 um, glue or most industrial strength glues are a little bit too harsh for your local craft store, craft store stones. Um, so this is what her shoe was. Um, I, I left this one because I wanted to show people and I've because I've been asked multiple times why are my stones melting? The backs of the back end of my stones are melting. And I think it's for sure for sure it's because of the quality of the stones you are using. I highly would not suggest using your Hobby Lobby or Michaels stones. You really, really do need to spend even just a little bit more money just to get the resin stones that I find online. Glass is even better and Swarovski is obviously the best. Um, but with each upgrade in quality, you know, Swarovski stones are extremely expensive. So Um, show you this shoe here and this is what I ended up turning this into to this here and I don't have a video um, in natural sunlight just because it's extremely cloudy and rainy in my area so I've been unable to to get any footage of it in natural bright sunlight because it's just extremely cloudy and rainy where I'm at. I'm doing a video Kids just don't knock. I swear I have no privacy. No privacy. Anyway, um, like I said, this is the shoe. There are approximately, I want to say, um, at least or about around 2,500 stones in just this one single shoe here. I use stone sizes three, four, five, and six millimeter. Um, on this particular shoe and I think it turned out absolutely great as you can see here um, the shoe has a bit of a platform and I tried to make it such so that it was more of an invisible platform you can kind of see how I did that I think it just makes the shoe kind of look like um, a daffodil by Christian Louboutin, obviously, minus the red bottom. But um, if you wanted to fake and bake it, you could get some red. They sell red sole uh, materials on eBay for as low as 10 bucks that you can apply different colored soles to your shoes. So you could fake it if you really wanted to. Um, the shape is not quite exactly like a daffodil, but 
maybe average people would maybe not know that but here is the shoe I apologize that I did not I was not able to get this in natural sunlight but here it is and there will be pictures to follow and my next video is actually going to be a comparison of the different stone colors your resin versus your glass versus your Swarovski I'm going to be showcasing three different pairs of shoes one shoe each shoe is going to be um, strossed in the resin one in the glass and one in the Swarovski so that you guys can get a much clearer picture of the different um, qualities between the three um, I get lots of questions about that so hopefully in the next video this will answer a lot of people's questions about that so until next time I will see you guys soon and leave any questions that you have in the bottom of the um, in the comment section of the video below and remember please read the description box for all the information that I have I always list all the information about what I use for the shoe in the description box below um, once again thank you guys and I will see you guys later bye